Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Kevtech here bringing another video on information technology. I hope you're having a good day. Happy Saturday. And today I want to do lab 10. So I'm sorry I skipped lab, lab 10 last week because I was busy with a bunch of things going on. But lab nine, we did group policy. We did our, our RSOP. We disabled task manager from Patty. Um, uh, we disabled the login, log off button. And we did a bunch of things. Obviously, if you're new to my channel, do IT videos, desktop support videos, tell about how to get into IT. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you know when I go live, okay? Greatly appreciate it. Obviously, I'm not going live this month, but, you know. But um, sorry about that, guys. I've been um, a little out of the weather, kind of kind of sick, actually, but all good. Uh, all right, so today, Lab 10 is going to be very interesting. I am going to go over um, uh, software deployment using PDQ. So you don't know what that is. Well, you're in for a treat today. So, um, if you if you if you do uh, the, uh, if you do help desk or IT support, a lot of these companies, if you're doing tier two like level two support, like kind of what like kind of what, like what I do, it's kind of what I do, kind of not what I do, but um, you actually have to s deploy software silently on someone's computer. So that would be like like uh, uh, SSEM, uh, Ivanti, Altiris, and all these other applications, you know, PDQ, whatever you have. So. Basically, you you will deploy software on someone's computer silently while they're not, you know, while they're away from their desk or they're actually using their desk, and you wouldn't just install like Net Framework. So they might they might be using an application that requires Net Framework, so you silently install it and they have to restart the computer, or you might install Adobe Acrobat DC or Pro when they're at working from home, obviously, or they're on VPN or they're in the office. So instead of you actually doing a remote desktop, a remote desktop assistant tool like like you know like like uh, um, BumGuard or Team Viewer or AnyDesk or GoToAssist or log me in. Why would you do a, a screen share to install it remotely when you could just install it silently on their computer as they're working so you don't bother them if that makes sense. So that's the reason why we do software deployment. So if you're like level two or higher or you're a help desk for like a, a special kind of help desk like you do a little bit of everything, then you would be doing this. If you're brand new to IT, you we probably would not be doing this, but it's good to know it's good to have in your resume and it's good to go over this because then you have something you could talk about and it's something you can add as a skill on your resume and it will make you stand out because a lot of people do not know how to do this if you're level one. Okay, so let me share my screen with you and show you how to do this. All right, give me a second. So remember, we have server 2016. Um, my lab videos, you know, I, I created a lab environment. I had, a computer, I had two computers, domain desktop one, desktop two. We're on the server today. So today is just gonna be all server stuff, all server stuff. And I'm gonna show you how it works. And I'm gonna show you why, I didn't, why I'm doing it this way, if that makes sense. So for this environment, first thing I need you to do, I need you to download guests, virtual box to, to install guests addition CD image. Why would you install that? I'm installing that because I want to make a folder that has PDQ installed on it, if that makes sense. And I want to add that. I want to add that folder so I can actually share it. So you don't have you don't have to you don't have to be on the network. You can actually just share that folder, grab that image or grab that that application, and then move it over to this VM. Because you know you have to take it off the you have to take it off of Wi-Fi, take it off a static IP, then put it back on. You know it's just it's just kind of annoying. You wouldn't do that. So. For this one, you're gonna need internet, obviously, because right now it's a static IP. Remember, we set a static IP of 10.1.10.2. I actually took a screenshot right over here. So, why am I taking the screen? Why I took a screenshot of it? It's because I need to be on the network if I'm trying to install PDQ. So, I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do right now. So, the first thing I need you to do is I need you to download guest addition CD. You click on that. So, now when you click on that, there's gonna be a CD right over here. And the CD is mounted on this on this VM. You click on this PC, you hit, you double click on VirtualBox Guest. So it says here it's recommended that you close all other applications when you install it. You hit next. You hit next. Start menu, create entry. It tells you right here like it, it position your mouse over a component to see its description. It, it tells you it tells you a little bit of kind of what it does. So as you install it, just install it. And you want to reboot now. So you reboot now. So what, what, what's the point of this? This application allows you to share documents off of the VM. So it's going to make, you're going to create a share folder off of the VM 
So then you could, you know, later on when you when you're building these labs, like how I'm on lab ten right now for today, you could actually move stuff on that folder and then users could grab it that like you grab from the server and then you could see dollar sign and then move that folder move that file over to your desktop one or desktop two if that makes sense so that's the reason why i'm going over this so then you could actually install applications while being on the network you could just grab it from that that share drive on virtual box if that makes sense so just bear with me this shouldn't take that long and I'm going over PVQ because that's like the only application I know that's free. <laughs> that's the reason why I'm going over it because there are other ones you have to pay for. SSEM is not free, but SSEM, you can actually download and install the client on the lab environment. And you can actually deploy applications from SSEM. And I made a video a long time ago on how to deploy SSEM. Well, not deploy it, but actually installing on a server and configure it on the server. I never went over deployment. But I probably will make a video on it later on next year, probably at some point, I will go over it again. And I would actually add a computer to the domain and I would actually show you how to deploy software from SSEM and how to actually configure it on both sides of it, if that makes sense. But for today, we're not gonna do that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do control with delete, do capital P, password one, two, three. Like I say, you need to be on the network for this, otherwise it's not gonna work. So what we're gonna do is, it's still on a static IP, which is fine. We're going to close out of this. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to click the little folder icon down here. I'm going to, I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to hit share folder. Then I'm going to make a brand new folder in here and I'm going to call it, I'm going to click on other so I could go here. I'm going to call it um, KevTech lab. All right, you can call it whatever you want. I'm going to hit selected folder. I'm gonna hit auto mount. Uh, it says new folder. This is the wrong folder. Give me a sec. There we go. I'm gonna hit okay. There we go. So now that folder is actually here. So that's, that's what this does. So this gives you the ability to add stuff outside of the virtual box. You could copy and paste. You do a bunch of things, by the way. So I suggest you install it. So what we do is you right click on the CD, you hit remove disk. So that's completely gone, bye bye. And then you go here and now there's nothing here, right? Which is okay. It's okay, I, I can't prepare for this. So then you go ahead and download um, your PDQ. You go into your web browser, you go into history. So I already downloaded it. You go into PDQ history and you go into uh, I'll, I'll, leave the web, I'll leave the website below, description below the website. You hit click here to download, you download it. It looks something like this. And then you, you put it on that folder. So I have two of them, I'm gonna remove one. I'm gonna drag it into the folder. Now it's in the folder. And if I go here and I refresh it, it should be there now. So now I'm gonna grab that, 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 that application. I'm gonna put it on the desktop. I'm gonna go into my uh, network, network settings. I'm gonna do bridge adapter, I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna go into control panel. I'm gonna click on control panel and I'm gonna go into view network status and tasks, change adapter settings, properties, IPv4, I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna make it to obtain IP address automatically. Just give that a second. Why am I doing this? It's because PDQ requires Net Framework 4.8. Uh, In order for you to install it on a computer, you need Net Framework 4.8. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So now it's on the network. How do you know it's on the network? You see the little icon right here? It has a little PC connected. That's how you know it's working. How do you confirm even further? If you're, IT guy, if you're an IT guy, you do ping 8.8.8.8, and you should get replies on it. So if you do get replies on it, that means it's on the network. That means it's working. How do you confirm even further that you have internet? You go into msn.com, just go to a random website and just go into it. I'm gonna tr trust that, tr put that in the trusted zone. I'm gonna hit okay. Um, I'm gonna hit okay, I'm gonna hit add. Close out of that, close out of that, and it should work. So now it's on the internet, right? So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into deployment, you're gonna hit install, say install. Now it's gonna to try to look for net framework. It does not have that. So you have to install this. You hit agree, you hit install. 
Uh, it says you have to you have to close out of this program and thinks it's open. So you hit yes, which is fine. You can do it on desktop one if you want. I don't suggest doing that. I suggest you do it on the, on the server side if that makes sense. So you could just, you could start grabbing files and then making them into package applications. And then you could start deploying installations, which we're gonna go over tomorrow. Today should be just a short video of how to install this. Then tomorrow we'll probably go more in depth and I'll show you how to install certain applications. I'll show you what you could do inside PDQ and I'll show you inventory stuff and I'll show you a bunch of other things. And why am I going over that? It's to help you out because it's going to help you in your resume. So then you, you can talk about, you could talk about PDQ. You can talk about how you use it to uh, export inventory, how you use it to deploy software, how you use it to, to basically look at your different directories on the server with different computers. And also it, it there's a bunch of stuff you could do on it. I'm, I'm going to go over that in depth tomorrow. Today it's just doing this, if that makes sense. So let that run. This is very important, by the way, if you're brand new to IT, this is something that I recommend you learn. Deploy, whether it's PDQ, whether it's SSEM, whether it's Advanti, any application that does this kind of things, these kinds of things, I recommend you learn it because you can edit a resume and you can talk about it. And also a lot of these companies that are like level two or higher require you to know SSEM, require you to know Avanti. Maybe you need to know Altiris. I use that in my other job. I Maybe mean, you need to know that. You don't know. Every company is different. So then you hit finish. Then if it's if it's set up correctly, it should go to this screen now to install it. And you hit accept. Nobody reads the terms of agreement. You hit install. Uh, let it install. And you hit launch. So this is the application. You just get rid of that. You don't need this anymore. So then delete it. Obviously, it's a trial version, so we, we, we wouldn't download an enterprise version unless you really need it, and you would download it. So, like, I, I right away, I installed something already right over here, um, and then, you know, it's on the network. So, the, what this does is it actually, I was playing around with this. So, actually, it grabs any application that, 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 that you could use, basically. So, like, obviously, since this is not the, you know, this is not the, the enterprise version, if that makes sense. You can't you can't download some of these things, you know. It's not gonna let it's grayed out because you have to pay for it if that makes sense. But I have one that's Zoom, right? So what you do is you do deploy once, and then you do choose target, and you do active directory, you do computers, server 2016, you hit okay. Should let you do it. You, you select the well, not all of them. That's crazy. I clicked all of them by accident. You select 2016. You hit OK. You hit deploy now. So now it's installing it. So how do you look like that right there? Right away, it, it actually popped up. So this is something that you would do in your job, by the way. This is not. This is not like I made this up on the fly. <laughs> this is what you do to the, like not obviously using SSCM or Avanti. You literally will go to your packages. So you'll probably have one for Adobe Reader. You'll probably have one for Zoom. You'll probably have one for Net Framework. You'll probably have one for something else. And then you will literally go into it. You'll deploy it once. You, know, you could do all these other things, all right? And then you go in here, you choose your target. You choose your computers or containers. You pick the one that you want to install it on and then you do it that way, if that makes sense. So this is making me install all these other ones. I'm not gonna do that today, but that's it. That's pretty much it. So then when you go into library, you have flash player. Obviously this is, these other ones you gotta pay for. Um, I don't know what the pricing is on this. I would like to know what the pricing is. Maybe I'll buy it maybe I'll do a full video. If you want me to do a full video on this and buy the license, let me know. I'll definitely buy it and go whole in depth with this like crazy. Let me know. Um, leave a little, leave, let me know below in the description. I'll, do, I'll go in depth with this if you want me to buy a license for it. But um, that's it. And obviously this is installed successfully. You can see it right there. Um, you go into uninstall programs and you can just, you can just remove it if you like. Um, and that's it. And then obviously we're gonna go into control panel. You go into view network and status, change adapter settings. I'm gonna hit property, CCP IP4. I have a picture of my IP address, which is 10.1. 10 
10 .1 .10 .2. So I'm going to do 10. 10 .1 .10 .2. Ten dot one dot ten dot one dot ten dot one dot ten dot two. Do ten dot one dot ten dot one. Then I'm gonna hit okay. Hit okay. And close out of this. Close out of this, close out of this, close out of this. Network adapter settings, host only adapter, CMD, ping kevtech.com. If I could type, would be nice. And you're good to go. It's working now. Obviously, it's not on a network anymore, but that's it. That's pretty much it. And then we'll, I'll show you what else you could do with this. There's a lot of things you could do with this, by the way. This is not just like one thing. You could do a bunch of things on this. And you saw how I installed it. I, I deployed it successfully. Okay, you go here, deploy once. You choose your computer, choose your target. Choose your computers. You add it in there, you hit OK. You hit deploy now. It's installing. And it's right there. See, and that this is pretty much all you care about. If you're like level level two, or or you're if you're level one and you have access to do it, that's all you care about. All you care about is just deploying the software. Oh, they call you. Hi, my name is blah blah blah. I want. Oh, can you install Zoom for me? Yeah, I can do that for you right now. I'll install it on the back end for you. Don't worry about it. You'll you'll know you'll see it on your desktop in like five to ten minutes. You know, it depends how fast the network is, obviously. And then you would you would do that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna shut this down and that's and call it a day. And um, so I'm doing Windows update. And that's it. That's pretty much it. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I'll go more in depth with this tomorrow. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care. Peace. Happy Saturday. Stay safe.